Hi, phone. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What? On this? Yes. Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your phone. No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? I don't know how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's, that's impossible. impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... No. No, no this, this, this is a trick. Jeremy. No! Just, Just when I'm getting close. close. You're trying to confuse me. You're trying to make me forget. Forget my appointment. Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. Okay. We'll see you at the High Line. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, somebody died here, you see this? Somebody died here. Who is that? Who, who is that? Jeremy? I was here. This is me. I was standing right there. But then I heard a pop, and then... Then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said... It's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. So uh, that's a big promise to find him. All right. Yeah, but have a tie. Touch my tie. Touch my tie, Jeremy. Jeremy, it's time. It's time. <laughs> he slides across the floor. <laughs> This is incredible. All this time, I never imagined. This is your life now. This is my life now. Not quite the village I, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. No. Just go through it? Just go through it. Before you, no, before you tell me what you did to me in that photo five years ago. Never mind. Never mind. Well, he's gone. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know what they say. Bacchus knows best. Don't drink. Are you crazy? Not bad for a night's work? I guess. We still don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just... kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Look, you get some sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. Joey? Yeah? The old man at the nursing home. Who is he? Get some sleep, Red. Secrets are gonna get me killed, Joey. Breaking news, Sparkle, Sparkle, Sparkle. Was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. Don't keep secrets from me, Joey. It's gonna get me killed. And then I'm gonna haunt you for I'll the rest of later. eternity. I don't need any. Alright, well, what are we gonna do now? Check my phone for emails? Emails. Nothing in the emails. Jeremy Highline Gavin. Well, this is called Sam. Darkin. 
Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? Yeah, I found his phone. I found Jeremy's phone outside of a psychic's office. You did, huh? Where is it? I've got it with me. Hello? You found potential evidence and removed it from the scene? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> I found out that Jeremy went to visit a psychic named Lisa Tenzin. A psychic? Is it relevant? I don't know. Well, we'll keep her on file. Thanks for the info. I don't have anything else for you. Mm -hmm. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've got his phone. Oh, we don't have his phone anymore. Never mind. We don't have his phone. Um. I don't know. Can I just? Sleep? Just chill out and sleep? Now what? Just highline the Seagram this Lisa. We need to find Durkin. She's not here. Interesting. Nobody's here. Interesting. Let's go harass her in her room. Wait a minute, she's not in her room? She's not in her room? Where'd you go? Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. That wasn't the help I was thinking of, but okay. Okay, well there's nothing there. Wait a minute, it's night time again? Oh, what happens now? It's a mailbox. Can we look through it? I can't get it open. Uh, can you get it open? Or like, just go through it? Rosa, trash can... Alright, Joey, go through the door. Spy on the woman. Wait, that's a candle chandelier? She's staring at that photograph. Is that... Danny? Is that you? Danny. How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did Lisa get this? It's got scissors... cutting a thing? What are you doing with that? What is that? How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did Lisa get this? Uh... A-L-L-O-M? Fine... T-A-I-L-O-M-N... -N. Fine what? Couldn't talk to her even if I wanted to. All right, well, blow her. I'm not gonna waste. My not sure what. Not sure what I'll gain by blowing that all over the room. She's staring at it. You want to interrupt her meditation? Um. She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Alright, thanks for being useless again. What? <laughs> this is so bad. 
This internet is so bad. Uh. Hi, Lisa. Hello? Well, that was rude. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Do you know a Danny Marconi? What about him? Let me in and I'll tell you. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, Danny Marconi. Um, no, are they are they here? Come on, we just talk. Oh, do we do we ask her about Danny Marconi? Wait a minute, let's just talk to her first. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. Smooth. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. He just died. His ghost is gonna be floating around. Alright, there's still nothing here. His ghost is gonna be floating around, he just died. Alright, Joey, go on. Danny's inside, I'm pretty sure of it. Can I go upstairs? Ah, too. F I can't pick. All right, I still can't do that. All right, well then we're gonna talk to her again and say Danny Marconi's dead. All right, Rosa, buzz her. Why would you do this? Danny. About Danny Mar He died today. I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Wait, grandfather? He was your grandfather? Yes. If you didn't know that, why are you here asking about him? Grandfather? I can't believe it. Well... Um... Uh, I'm psychic. I'm psychic. You know about my grandfather because you're psychic. Yes. Did you talk to his ghost or something? Ironically, no, I didn't. <laughs> I ask you again, how do you know my grandfather? Joey. A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. Uh, he had a shop on Grand Street. He used to be a tailor, slick back hair and a pencil mustache. He had slick back hair and a pencil thin mustache. That, so did a lot of people back then. Um. Uh, fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey straight with no ice. He put salt on everything, played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. Get him. <laughs> See, Linda I'm was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're... For real, aren't you? You're one of them? You tell me. Them? No. I'm not falling for that. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her, shaking like a leaf. 
Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? Oh. Oh, okay, so she's a fake psychic, but she knows there's real psychics out to. Gavin has killed someone. Her suspicions is personal. Gavin has killed someone. Her suspicions. What exactly do you suspect? Oh, no. I keep my suspicions to myself. I'm safe if I don't act on them. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look, what if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Sure. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. I've done all I can. I'm sure you haven't done all you can. But okay. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. They're probably both dead. Tiffany. Charming. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. Apartment it's two. a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. Mailbox two. Locked. It looks the same as all the others. Uh, Joey, put your hand in there. Let's have a look-see. It's too dark to make anything out. You're so bad. It's too dark to make anything out. Too dark? Um, Rosa, can you... Do you have a light on your phone? You probably don't, never mind. Uh, Rosa... Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Attention fellow residents, it has come to my attention that many of you here have set up insecure Wi-Fi networks for your apartments. That's fine, assuming you want every NYU student on the block to leech off you and slow your system to a crawl. If you're like the rest of us, you might want to learn how to add a password to your system. And here's one piece of advice for, three, for free. Your dog's name is not a secure password. A concerned resident. Oh, your dog's name is not... 